and welcome to today's unboxing of Warhammer Underworld's Weird Hollow. I'm your host, the Celestial Brush of Sigmar, Jeff Taylor. I'm pretty excited to do this unboxing today because I haven't played Underworlds uh, since Beastgrave uh, was released. Uh, I mean, I played it and I played in tournaments around Houston and that stuff, but uh, after that I just, life got in the way and I just didn't really follow the Underworlds anymore. Um, but I had to get in on this set because it's Stormcast, and you know me, I paint almost nothing but Stormcast. Um, but aside from that, I'm a big fan of Zeech as well, and this had this badass Zeech warband in here, so I had to pick this guy up. So let's not waste any more time here, and let's dive right in. Now, I've already cut the seals off the sides of it, but the lid has not been lifted yet, so this is the first time that we're going to lift this lid. I'm pretty stoked about this. All right, first up, looks like we've got the models. So right here, looks like it's going to be the Zeech one. We're going to go ahead and stick those off the side for a second. And then let's look at this one here. Now, oh, looks like, um, looks like, a, oh, there it is. Uh, I assume this fell off. Possibly. Either in transit or something. doesn't look like anything's broken off of it, so that's good. Uh, a little unfortunate to see something like that in there. I'm not sure if anybody else's box was like that, but it uh, doesn't look like there's any damage done to it, so um, I can live with it. I'm not, ooh, sorry. I'm not too uh, picky on that kind of stuff, especially if it's not broken. I'm not going to make a big fuss about it. Now, this seems to be packaged a little differently than... The ones I've had in the past, it's had all the boards up at top and everything else, but it seems like, yeah, it seems like everything's underneath of that. All right, new way to package the deck as well, unless they've been doing this. Uh, here's all your cards, uh, your Seismic Shock Rivals deck, Toxic Terrors. Here's going to be your Ephilim's Pandemonium, and then here is the Domitant Storm Coven. So usually I think I've just seen them all in their individual packs as how they used to do it, or just those two together or something, but that's pretty neat. The dice, all right. Looks like we got red defense dice this time. Um, still white attack dice. Not sure if that was a change or not. You know, it's always been black to uh, my knowledge. So this could be the first time that we're doing red, and that's pretty cool. All right, now let's see what this guy says here. Ah, okay. Lift to find your rulebook tokens and game boards. Nice. All right, so yeah, they did. That's a that was intentional. I just didn't know if maybe because uh, the box wasn't completely sealed either. It didn't have a seal around it. It just had a little tape on the side. So I assume it's a different way they're packaging it all this year. That makes me feel a little bit better. I thought maybe that I didn't have a a new kit. <laughs> all right, so Weird Hollow the rule book. Now this guy is a lot bigger than before. Um, but rule books of the past, especially from Shade Spire, I've been playing. Well, I can't say that I've been playing since Shade Spire, but I got Shade Spire when it came out, you know, and then Dreadfane, uh, well, or then Night Vault, and then Dreadfane, and then Beast Grave. Um, so the rule book probably has been just getting bigger with each. I think there's only been, what, three boxes since then? Four boxes, maybe? Let's see here. So you get a little bit of lore, looks like. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Terror Below. The Fallen Star. Breath of the Beast. Some lore. Here's your introduction to everything. Tells you your tokens and counters. Oh, wow, yeah. This, does, this book does a really good job this time of detailing stuff out that I haven't seen before. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, it gives you painted models in here. That's pretty cool. Tells you the traits of stuff. That's nice. Oh, skipped a couple there. Objective cards, gambit cards, advanced rules. I'll tell you what. This core book has been super fleshed out since the beginning. That's for absolute sure. Oh, and they even tell you how to do multiplayer games. I mean, I knew that was a thing, but that's really cool that they give you the directions to do that. A glossary for all your keywords. 
and then you get images of all the game boards so you can see what game boards before you know so you don't have to flip through and that's pretty nice i like that a lot and of course they still have the flow chart on the back that's awesome super duper handy right there um i have played so many games and taught so many games by just utilizing this little easy sequence here um, this has really helped out with getting people started um and then from there on they can go into the advanced rules in here you know and do that uh, i really like this core book that's that's really cool i'm gonna have to sit down and read some of that lore today and uh, see what's going on here i like that all right and then where it looks like we're gonna have the directions to put everything together man i am super excited for these stormcast i love the way these guys look and i might i've got a helmeted head for that man i might be able to put that on him who knows we'll see i love the helmets on these guys though all right and then the game boards all sealed up let's get these guys open real quick Beautiful game board. The oof, building material, yeah, it looks like some bu it's building material has been crushed and worn down. You got skulls in there. You got some writhing tentacles. That's pretty cool. Let's see the other side now. Look at that. You got some really cool hexes on this one. I'm I'm gonna have to read up the rules about these again. Um, I remember watching a thing on Warhammer Plus. Um, and they talked about these dotted lines and what they mean. I just, I, I just forget. Like I said, it's been a while since I played the game, so I'm pretty excited to get back into learning new mechanics. That's really going to be cool. Okay, and then the other game board. Let's take a look at this one real quick. More material. Looks like you got some rock up here, too, mixed in with it. It's all falling into mouths. That's pretty awesome. Look, you got this big old giant skull over here. That's slowly being twisted into this that's really cool you gotta watch where you step here buddy you gotta watch what happens because you will get sucked into it more tentacles more wood it looks like i don't know is that the the bark of it flaking off and showing the actual live being underneath of it that's pretty neat i like that i can get behind it all right so here's going to be all of our cardboard tokens uh, for everything, your charge and attack tokens, glory points, activation tokens, objective tokens. Looks like it's all pretty standard. Looks like this hasn't really changed much uh, since the good old golden days, which is pretty cool. I'm, uh, that'll make things pretty easy, too. You still got your scatter token. Oh, I tell you what, when the scatter hex was introduced into this game system, people lost their minds. It was so much fun, especially with the goblin that uh gloom spike gets warband that had the the fanatic in it or something that was that, that was that was a really fun time all righty so well there's all of that uh that's all the insides of the box so why don't we go ahead and switch it on over and let's go ahead and look at some of these models we got here nice okay first starting up we're gonna look at these stormcast now like i said i had this broken sprue here so Hopefully it's, we'll go right in there. That's all right. I'm going to put these guys together today anyways, probably, so I'm not too upset about it. Just make sure nothing's bent on it. You know, nothing's out of place. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Hell, and the way it got sheared off, it looks like it just sheared completely almost. Wow. All right, so. Boom, that's the back side of them. Here we go. Nice staves. Staves. Staves, staves, whatever. Whatever. Nice, beautiful bases. Look at that. I really enjoy this one, these guys. Uh, these bases this time. Now, I haven't had 
The base is from the Harrow Deep one that has the Thunderstrike Warband in it. Now the old bases, they always had like this kind of stuff on the middle of it and just had the rim I just had the rim with all the the debris and rubble on it. I'm really liking how they just separated, you know, little pieces here, but it's mostly dirt and debris. Little piece here, little piece here. It's not it's not in the center, you know, not right smack dab in the middle. So I like that. Those guys look beautiful. Can't wait to get these guys together. I'm sure they're going to be an extremely fun warband to play with, uh, especially all wizards. Um, and their inspire mechanic, where one inspires, the rest of them aren't, and then you can uninspire that one, inspire somebody else. And it's it's really cool because it's like everyone's the leader of your warband, but no one's the leader of your warband. And, and I know Domitin is, I guess, supposed to be like the leader of the warband or something, but... Um, the way I understand it and the way I was watching on Warhammer Plus when they were playing the games on there um, was that they could just, whoever was inspired at the time was, I guess, the leader. So um, I'm pretty excited about that. That's really cool. Kind of like a little switcheroo. Like, oh, you think you're going to kill this guy? Well, he's not my leader right now. So <laughs> I don't know in case there's like a, hey, kill your leader objective. But pretty cool. Really excited to get these guys together going to be a fun time. All right, now on to these guys. Now, this is Ethelum's Pandemonium. Now, these guys look awesome. These bases are absolutely beautiful. Really enjoying that stone on them and the words... Uh, scribed into him. That's really cool. Really awesome detail. Look at that. Some little parts here. Little parts there. But all in all, this guy, he's just like one whole piece. That's it. I think he's going to be super fun. Super detailed. Absolutely awesome. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for joining me today on this unboxing. Um, really enjoyed this. Can't wait to get this stuff together. We're going to see how it goes, how everything assembles, um, and then most importantly, how the game plays. So, if you like that, please like, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. Um, it all helps me and helps grow and, it, you know, makes me want to do it more often if there's interaction on it. So, I really appreciate y'all's time uh, and your day coming out to watch this. Um, I'm going to try to have an unboxing going on here soon for the new Warcry set that's coming out. Um, the Warcry expansion, and I'm pretty stoked about it, so... Uh, once again, thank you all. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic day.